Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. So today I will be sharing an amazing application that will be helping you to parental control your kid's phone and you can control one Android phone with another phone. So if you're really concerned about your kid and want to monitor that what kind of content they are watching, what kind of conversation they are making and how exactly they are using their phone, then you can easily do that using this free application. So with this application, you would be able to track the WhatsApp messages, like who are added in their contact, what kind of conversation they are making, what kind of files they are sharing with each other, and even what kind of videos they are watching on the YouTube or any other social platform, what kind of website they are visiting in the browser, and even many more things. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. All right, so first on your own phone, you will have to bring up a website and for that you can bring up any of your browser and type here web.airdroid.com I will also leave the link in the description and once you come up here you will get this kind of page and on the right hand corner you will find an option to create account so click on it and here you have to enter your email now be careful you will have to use the same email credential on your kit phone as well so make sure that you remember the ID and the password carefully. All right, so enter the email, enter the password, type all the information, click on next and create your account. And once it will be created, it will ask you to choose a device to connect. I've already connected few of the devices here, but on your end, it might say that no devices connected. And this is how the dashboard will be looking on your end, where you would be able to find all kinds of menu. Okay, so now what you have to do, you are done from your phone. Now come back to your kid phone. Take that for a moment, for a while. And on their phone, you will have to bring up the Play Store. And in the Play Store, you have to search for an application by the name AirDroid. So look for it and then you have to install it. Wait until the installation is being completed. And once the application comes up, it will say sign in or sign up. Now here you have to tap on sign in as you will have to sign in with the same account that you have used to sign into your AirDroid account on your primary phone on your own phone. All right, so I will tap on sign in and I will type the same email and the password that I used to create an account on my own phone. Continue or skip. So you don't have to click on escape because then you will not be having any kind of permission. So you will have to click on continue here and then you have to give all kind of permission. So enable allow access to manage all the files. Then you have to go back. Tap on OK. Now we have to give the access to other application here, other feature like camera. So you will have to tap on camera first. Tap on grant permission. Choose while using this application or while using the application, then tap on continue. Uh, select the AirDroid here and enable this permission as well. Again, you have to go back, go back, also enable here one way audio. Again, tap on while using the application. All right, so this permission has been granted. Now again, you have to go back, do the same with the screen mirroring. Very important. Tap on grant permission. Now here you might find some kind of countdown time. So you have to wait. And then finally, once the option is being highlighted, Tap on still enable. Tap on got it. Again, you can enable the option here. Then tap on the remote control. Tap on enable remote control. Again, wait for the countdown here. And once highlighted, tap on still enable. Now it might ask you for additional add on. So you will have to tap on download and install. And it will take you again to the Google Play Store. And this is a additional add-on. Now this you can skip as well if you don't have any requirement for the remote control. So it all depends on you. If you need it, then you can go ahead and download this add-on here. So once download it, again open it. Again come back to the AirDroid application. Tap on grant permission. Tap on continue. Tap on OK. Now here you have to tap on downloaded app. And on the top, you will find a Droid control add-on. Just tap on it and enable all this permission here. Again, it might ask you to wait for some time. So wait. 
and then finally you have to tap on okay okay so we are also done with the remote control now you can come to the messages tap on grant permission again wait for some time and tap on still enable tap on allow do the same with the contacts and location as well if you also want to uh, track their location or just to track their phone as well okay all right so allow and grant this permission carefully and once you are done now come to your own phone and bring up the browser where you have opened the android website now this time when you come here you have to look for the mirroring option this is the one once you get it tap on it now it will ask you that which phone you want to connect in case if you have connected or installed this application on multiple devices so choose your phone here your kid phone here and then you have to tap on it and once you tap on it probably on your kid phone you will be getting a kind of a warning and this is the final thing that you have to do you will have to allow it and once you have allowed it now you will be having the access of your kid phone on your own mobile all right so let me show you it's been connected now okay and bingo so now you can see that i have the access i can monitor my kid phone now from my own phone so if i do anything on my kid phone so you can see that the same thing is happening on my phone as well and if i bring up the whatsapp application here so i can read all the messages like with whom my kid is talking to what kind of conversation they are making and this can be really useful because many time it happen that your kids are scared of you scared of the parents they are getting some kind of threats they are not doing something right even they are not able to share with you but now with this method you can track them and then you can try to reach them approach them that what kind of problem they are having you can go and uh, build up a healthy conversation not only this a part of this you can bring up anything like if you want to know that what kind of videos they are watching you can bring up the youtube videos here you can read their text messages you can just view their contacts that what kind of contacts they are having you can view their call conversation not only this even if you want to view from your own side without the screen mirroring then you can come to the dashboard and here you will find different section like the messages one the contacts and other option so that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this information useful and if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you on the next video bye bye